Hey all, it's Josh with Battle Bond, and I'm here with Teslin once again. Hey again. And we're gonna play some Batman miniature game for you. So we're gonna go through lists here with you guys, but just quickly, I just wanna say sorry for the delay in getting some Batman bat reps up. Been life with a new baby and such, but uh, hopefully we'll have some more regular battle reports for you guys. So let's just go through my list. So I'm gonna be bringing Teen Titans. So we've got Nightwing. Uh, we have Hawk, and I gave him the Super Jump upgrade. We have Starfire, and she got Moment of Glory, so she can count as a henchman once per game. Uh, Dove, Beast Boy, and then Raven, and we gave her some extra ammo. And so if you guys don't know, the Teen Titans and Vigilantes now have some special rules which I'll pop up on the screen so you guys can pause and have a read. But uh, there's going to be these green counters, um, and these green counters on the board are going to be my thwart markers. Okay, Teslin, so you're bringing Suicide Squad, so why don't you go over your list with me? Okay, so we have Bloodsport leading the crew. I gave him the equipment back on track, which allows him to... Uh, Use a cranial bomb on himself if he has a task counter and not explode. Okay. We have KG Beast. Uh, he has a piece of equipment that allows him to get a free manipulate if he does not have a task counter. Then we have Thinker, Sebastian, TDK. He has back on track. Weasel, Ratcatcher 2. Three rats. They're over here. And then Slipknot, which I don't have his updated card. Yeah, and so again, there's new rules for Suicide Squad, so I'll pop those up on the screen um, so you guys can have a look through them so that when Teslin talks about cranial bombs, it makes sense. So we'll come back to you guys with our pre-deployment stuff, and then we'll get the game on underway. Okay, so we'll just give you guys a general overview of the board state after we finish all our deployment stuff. So we drew Divide and Conquer for the scenario and Old Sewage System for the event, which will come up on the screen so you guys can pause if you want to see uh, what those are like. So my deployment zone is over here. I have no one. Over here, I have everyone, except for Nightwing, who's starting up off the board. And then you can see across from my crew, is KG Beast and TDK. And then over on the far side here is everyone else for Teslin's crew. And you guys can see how the thwarts have been laid out on one side of this building. And then we've got some sewers and lamp posts. All right, so we'll do the roll off for first turn. And then we'll come back to you guys after some activations. Two, and it's a three. All right. So uh, I'll let you go first, Teslin. Okay, so coming back to you guys after the first activation of the execute the plan phase. So during the raise the plan, my audacities were assigned to Nightwing, Starfire, Raven, and Beast Boy. And then Teslin's. Where's uh, Bloodsport, KG Beast, Thinker, and TDK? All right. And why don't you go through your first activation? First activation, I uh, used Weasel. He just moved up and placed a suspect marker. Okay. And then I played Solving the Puzzle as a burn, just to get it out of my hand. And then also um, Nightwing's card was put into play because it is a opening. It has the opening keyword, which means it goes into play before the game starts. So we're going to lump in a couple activations together here. So Teslin, why don't you take us through what you did with yours? For my activation, I just used the rat and he just moved up eight. Yep. And I played uh, solving the puzzle again, just to burn it, to get it out of my hand. And then I went with an actual activation. So um, my four guys were over there. And then Raven decided to teleport them all over here. I placed a suspect. And I played Informant as an objective. Um, I moved some forts 
and Teslin played risking all as an objective. So we'll come back to you guys with some more activations. So I, I forgot to mention last activation that um, I used a pass, which is why the rats went right after Weasel. So Teslin, why don't you go through your next activation with us? Okay, I chose Sebastian. Sebastian moved up to that sewer and he placed a suspect marker, which scored me target acquired. Yep. It's, and then when uh, Sebastian got a task counter, I used the resource for revealed the plan for somebody within eight inches to also gain a task counter. So Weasel took a task counter. Nice. And then uh, I played Overdrive as a resource on my one um, suspect that's out right now. And then uh, Nightwing decided it was his time to shine with Shadowed Nightmare. And he came in with an eight of the suspect that was placed face to base with the Thinker. So I think we know who the next activation is gonna be. Okay, so over to Nightwing's activation and my dice are doing what they do best. So we were only able to do six stun to the Thinker. So yep, couldn't quite knock him out. Um, and then we back clawed our way over here, put a suspect down and played another informant as an objective card. And then uh, Teslin played Subterfuge Mission uh, just to burn it, to get it out of his hand. And uh, Nightwing was able to put down the suspect because of Vigilante's work. So we'll come back with some more activations. All right, so tell us what Thinker did there, Teslin. Okay, Thinker activated, he moved up uh, his full movement. He used his computer intrusion ability to move two of my suspect markers back this way slightly. So he has room to put a suspect marker down, uh, which he did. And that procced his brain enhancer. So I get to uh, draw a card and then I discarded the card. And that also procced Argus intelligence as an objective, which is a timer. And uh, yeah, that was him. Roll the five for that. So just have to reveal the suspect within five activations. Um, all right, and I'm passing. So we'll go on to another Tesla activation. Okay, for this activation, TDK went. Uh, he moved up to the back of that cop car with his detachable arms. He put down a suspect marker and I played Argus Intelligence as an objective. I roll a five for that timer. All right. So Starfire was the next to activate. So she started over here. She flew over here and uh, grabbed the Venom dose. And she ended up over here, which was within 12 of Thinker. Um, so right before she threw her Star Bolts, uh, Teslin decided to burn Subterfuge Mission so that he wouldn't take any damage from it. Um, so she threw her Star Bolts and she hit him once, knocking him out and setting him on fire. And then she was able to move back here. And I was able to play Stubborn Resilience on her. So the countdown timer on her is five. And she is now in vulnerability three. Okay, so I passed twice. So Tesla, why don't you go through your two activations? One of them was a rat swarm. It just moved up. Right there. And the other one was rat catcher. She just moved up. She was over here, moved up no there. No cards played. On either side, yeah. So I used my last pass, and Teslin moved a rat over here. Uh, I then went with Hawk, who moved from there to there, put down a suspect, and I played another informant. And both of Teslin's Argus Intelligence cards counted down to zero, so he scored both of those. And then those uh, task counters, one went on Rat Catcher, and one went on Slipknot. Over there and over there. Okay, so we have a few activations to go through here with you guys. They were pretty uneventful. So Slipknot just moved up here. And then for me, Dove just kind of moved over here. And in both cases, I, I burned uh, Solving the Puzzle. Uh, my Stubborn Resilience scored. And then Teslin had an eventful activation with KG Beast. So why don't you go through it with us? Uh, so at the start of the activation, I used a resource, taking the lead. And then he moved up. And then as a objective, I played Reinforcement Beacon Planted. And which would... that ended up over here. So yeah. within four inches of uh, Raven. 
All right, so we each have one activation left, so we'll come back to you guys with those and then the end of the round recap. So last activation for the Titans was Beast Boy. So he transformed into a gorilla, moved over here, put a suspect down within four of the marker, and moved these thwarts, and he had much to prove played on him. So final activation of the round, Teslin, why don't you walk us through it? Uh, it was Bloodsport. Uh, he just walked back, placed down a suspect marker, which scored me target acquired. Nice. And with my, a resource point, I used revealing the plan so I can give another guy a task counter within eight inches. And who'd you give that to? I gave that to TDK. Over there. All right. Uh, yeah. And then so for end of round scoring, the only scoring we have is uh, I score one of my informant cards because all three of these suspects over here were informants. So we will come back to you guys with the next round. So coming back to you guys at the end of the raise the plan phase. So Titans won the roll off and elected for Suicide Squad to go first. Um, Trigon Portal was played as an objective. So you can see it's right there. And then as far as Audacity counters go, it's going to be the same as last round. So Nightwing, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy. And then over on the Suicide Squad. We have it on Bloodsport, KG Beast, TDK, and then Slipknot. So pretty similar. So we'll come back to you guys with some activations. Okay, so we have uh, the first two activations of the game for you guys. So, Teslin, why don't you go through yours? Okay, I went with the safe option and uh, stood up Thinker. He walked over to a suspect, uh, revealed it, and then I played Extermination Mission as an objective, and that's going to queue off of uh, Bloodsport. Okay, and then uh, I went with Nightwing. So he started over here came around, was within aid of Thinker, threw some bat wings, knocked him out again, and then uh, using always on the move, came back over this way. So we're coming back to you guys with a couple activations again. So Teslin, why don't you start? Uh, for my activation, I did Sebastian. Yeah. Uh, he just moved up, placed a suspect marker. Yeah. And that was Argus Intelligence, which is the timer was four. Yep, so now it's down to three because I went with Starfire next. So she was over here. She activated her moment of glory and flew her 20 inches all the way over here base to base with Bloodsport, who was out of bodyguard range. And she beat the snot out of him. And then uh, she pushed him back, moved up base to base with uh, the thinker, put down a suspect, and that allowed me to score seeking the trial. For my activation, I used Weasel. Weasel just moved from here to here, revealed the suspect marker Starfire just put down, and that scored me revealing the plan. And during Weasel's activation, I played Overdrive as a resource, and we put it over here next to Beast Boy. Okay, so Beast Boy was next to activate for the Titans. So he started over here. Um, he transformed into a tiger. He picked up a Venom Dose that was there previously. He popped the Venom Dose. I used Seeking the Trial as a resource to move him four inches. He ran all the way around over here to get base to base with TDK and attacked him. Managed to do four blood, four stun, um, scoring me nothing. But uh, this counter will go down to zero, which will score Tesla and Argus Intelligence. And then and, I used a, a burn card, misunderstood orders. Yep. And then so um, Bloodsport and the Thinker are both on fire, so they each took a blood. And then when Argus Intelligence scored, I placed a task marker on Slipknot, which allowed me to place this objective card, sub, sub subterfuge mission. Yeah. All right. So we'll come back with some more activations. Uh, KG Beast went next. He walked up to Beast Boy and activated Steel, attacking him, killing him outright, scoring six blood, six stun. Yep, uh, I played containing the threat as a resource, didn't roll a six, so he took all the blood damage. And then uh, Informant was taken out of my hand from Steel. 
And because uh, Beast Boy was KO'd or casualtyed, I played interrogation mission. He dropped an interrogation event marker, and KGB stood, just stood by it. Okay. So Hawk was up next. He moved from there over to here, put a suspect down. That let him score, seeking the trial because of that rat, and then move another fort that was over here closer to the Trigon portal. All right, why don't you go through your next activation there, Teslin? Okay, so for my next activation, I used Rat Catcher. She used the Tamer device uh, on Hawk. All the rats moved towards her, yep. or Hawk, and one got to do a free attack, which scored actually two stun. Yep, and so then, uh, Hawk efforted twice, so he's one away from being KO'd. And then as a resource, I used Taking the Lead, which allowed uh, the active model to move two inches, so she moved two inches back towards that police truck. Okay, and then I burned Solving the Puzzle. So Raven was next to activate for the Titans, so she did Soul Self and moved Dove over to here. Um, we played... Stubborn Resilience on her and rolled a four for that. She then used her special action to Painful Empathy Hawk and then shot at one of the rats doing a damage. Okay, for this activation, uh, TDK went. He moved up with his detachable arms. He revealed the suspect marker that was under that rat, which scored me revealing the plan. Uh, he got a task marker. So with a re resource, I used the same card to give another guy within eight inches of me a task. So I gave Ratcatcher a task. Nice. And then I just played Overdrive as a resource over here. All right. So the last activation for the Titans was Dove. So she was over here where you can see her. First thing she did was place a suspect. And that allowed me to score Seeking the Trial from the rat swarm that was there, and there was a thwart back here that was within eight inches. Um, we then moved this thwart base to base with the Trigon portal. And then she shot the rat swarm that was here and took it out, uh, healed Hawk for one. And then I played solving the puzzle just to burn it to get it out of my hand. So that's it for Titans. Um, and then the Suicide Squad is burning Misunderstood orders. So uh, Bloodsport and Thinker will each take a blood. Um, so we'll come back to you guys with the rest of the Suicide Squad activations. All right. So take us through your last three activations there, Tesla. Uh, so one rat moved up, and because it's a mindless monster, it got to attack. So it yep. attacked Hawk. Yep. It did uh, Two stun. some stun. And then the other one went and moved a little bit and attacked. And it did zero damage. Another or one one stun. No zero. Zero. Yeah. So and then Hawk was left with one one health up still. And then uh, the third activation was Slipknot. He used his grapple. Started over Went here. all the way into this deployment zone, and just sat there. <laughs> so that allowed you to score which cards? Uh, at the end of the round, I scored. Uh, sub, sub Purge mission? Yeah, so that's for Slipknot being in the my deployment zone. And then interrogation mission because KG Beast is by that interrogation marker. Yep. And then I was able to get uh, Stubborn Resilience that counted down and Raven was still in range of the thwart. And then um, closing the Trigon portal because I have three models and a thwart versus Teslin's two models. So... Um, KO rolls. Uh, okay, uh, Bloodsport did not wake up. Right. Thinker did not wake up. Right. And I don't have any because my only KO model is dead. So we'll come back to you guys with round three. If you like what you're watching, consider giving the channel a like and subscribe. And if you feel like helping us out, check out our shop at etsy.com slash shop slash miniatures where we sell a variety of proxies for various tabletop war games, as well as terrain to go with it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so top of round three. It was a pretty big round for the Titans. So uh, we each had a phase one card. Titans won the roll to go first and chose to take it because um, we've had five pass counters every round so far. 
and none of them were used last round. Uh, so Titans played the Trigon Portal, which ended up over here. Uh, and then Suicide Squad played Misunderstood Orders. And then Nightwing was the first to activate, so he was over here, grabbed the Venom Dose, used it, used his grapple gun, came over here, attacked Ratcatcher 2, was able to knock her out. Uh, using all, always on the move, he came back here. And then Vigilante's work, he put down a suspect. So that'll put both counters onto um, great performance. And then uh, during his activation, much to prove was also played on him. So uh, there's a counter on that as well. So we'll come back to you guys with the Suicide Squad counter. Okay, so we'll go over the first suicide activation of the round. But first, we forgot to go over who has Audacity. So on my side, it's Nightwing, Starfire, Raven, Dove. On the and Suicide Squad. KG Beast, TDK, Weasel, and Ratcatcher. Okay. And um, how many how many cranial bombs do you have in your deck right now? Should be five. Five? Yeah, okay. So there's five cranial bombs in, in the Suicide Squad deck right now. So uh, let's go over the activation. Okay. Uh, KG Beast went. He walked over to Starfire. He activated Steel and attacked her. Yep. Ended up doing four blood, four stun. Yep. And uh, containing the threat was taken out of my hand, so I couldn't use it. Um, but she's still pretty healthy, so she's not too worried about it. So we'll come back with some more Teen Titans. Okay, so Starfire was next to activate. So um, Ending Your Villainy was played as a resource to give her two free, de free efforts. She attacked Weasel, was able to hit with everything, knock him out. And then another Ending Your Villainy was played as an objective to score it. And then uh, she flew over here to hopefully get healed. For this activation, TDK went up, placed a suspect marker by that truck with his detachable arms, which allowed me to score risk and all that was played in turn one. And because he got a task token, I played a super, Subter you subterfuge mission. Subterfuge yeah. mission. And, Hard name. Uh, yeah, that was his activation. All right, we'll come back with some Titans. I forgot to mention during um, TDK's activation, uh, much to prove was played as a resource. It was played on Hawk because he's the only model I have without a Dasker. So next up was Hawk. He had that free attack action from the resource. So he attacked and got rid of the Wrath Swarm, the one of them that was base to base. Walked over here, revealed the Suicide Squad suspect uh, with his free Inspire, and that allowed me to score solving the puzzle. Uh, and then I played Overdrive as a resource, put that over there. And then um, Suicide Squad is doing Murderous Orders, just burning it to get it out of his hand. So that means Bloodsport and the Thinker are going to take one point of blood from fire. Okay, so the Rats went and attacked Nightwing and didn't do anything. Um, risking it all was played as an objective. And then it was, Dove was up, so she shot at TDK, did nothing. Um, she healed Starfire with her special. She just moved over there. And Stubborn Resilience was played on Starfire. And a three or a, a one was rolled, so that puts the counter up to three. Um, solving the puzzles was burned. And Subterfuge Mission was also burned. So we'll come back with some Suicide Squad stuff. Okay, Sebastian moved up and he efforted twice with Charismatic Rat to bring in two rats. And he, that was his activation. Uh, and I burned solving the puzzle to get it out of my hand. Okay, last couple activations of the round. So Raven um, shot at TDK, killed him. Um, she then ran over here. She grabbed the Venom Dose on her way. She put down a suspect and uh, played Informant. Um, Overdrive was played as a resource. And that was it for her. So then Slipknot went. He was over here. Ran around over to here. 
and he's basically just to be a body for the Trigon Portal and the Informant. So going to the end of the round scoring, uh, my Stubborn Resilience ticked down, so that'll score. The Trigon Portal does not score because one, two, three, four versus my one, two, three, and one thwart. Uh, and then the informant doesn't score because obviously Slipknot is within four inches of it. Okay, so doing our KO checks, uh, Bloodsport got up, but Ratcatcher and Weasel did not. And we'll do our roll off to see who goes first for round four here. So Teslin's plus three, and I'm plus five. Ooh, I'm eight. Nice. So that'll be Suicide Squad. Okay, so take the lead and raise the plan for round four. So I'll just show you my audacities. It's going to be everyone except for Hawk once again. Um, during the take the lead phase, Teslin played taking the lead and misunderstood orders. And then his audacities are... Sebastian, Bloodsport, KG Beast, and Slipknot. All right, and you can see the dice are the counters for misunderstood orders. So uh, we'll come back with the Suicide Squad first activation. Okay, first activation of the round for Suicide Squad was spicy. Take us through it. Uh, KG Beast activated. He activated good aim, and he shot... Uh, Hawk, who was over here. Yeah, did six blood to him. Yep, I played uh, containing the threat. Um, as a resource, and he was he was within four of Dove, but not quite this thwart, and didn't roll the five, so took all the blood. And then uh, because he died, interrogation mission came out, and then KGB just moved up to that interrogation marker and just stood there. Standing base to base with it, but uh, you also scored taking the lead, yeah. right? And taking the lead was good. Yeah, because Hawk was, who was chosen for that, and he was the first one to die. So we'll come back with some uh, Titan recourse. So first activation for Titans was Nightwing. So he grabbed the Venom Dose that was there, popped it, went to attack KG Beast, flailed ineffectively at him, came over here, dropped the suspect. Uh, that allowed him to score seeking the trial because we were within four of this wrath swarm and there was a, a, a thwart marker right there. And then uh, solving the puzzle was burned just to get it out of the hand. And then during Nightwing's attack, I used uh, the resource to give uh, on, KG Beast an extra two defense dice. Yeah, so use the resource on subterfuge mission. And then um, after I placed the suspect, risking it all was played as an objective. So we're back over to Suicide Squad. All right, walk us through your turn. Okay, so Bloodsport activated. He stood up from being knocked down, hobbled a little bit forward, and then shot an assault round at uh, Dove. Yep. Doing eight blood to her. Yep, killing her. Killing her. And then right after he did that, the cranial bomb exploded and killed him. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, all right, we'll come back with some Titans. Okay, so Raven was next to go. So first thing she did was use Painful Empathy on Nightwing to heal him. And then she popped her Venom Dose and attacked Slipknot with her bare fists doing stun damage. Um, she managed to knock him out, which let me score Ending Your Villainy because there was a thwart right there. Um, and then Overdrive was played as a resource. And then I used Extermination Mission as Burn, just to get it out of my hand. Okay, and then she just moved over here. All right, take us through your next activation. Okay, Sebastian activated. He just walked up to Nightwing, put a suspect marker down, yep. which scored him risk and all. Uh, once that activated, Sebastian got a cast token. So he put down Subterfuge mission. Okay, and, and um, containing the threat was played on my end as a burn just to get it out of my hand. So last activation for Titans is going to be Starfire. 
So we'll come back with that. Okay, so Starfire went. She just shot one of the rat swarms, killed it, moved around over to here, to hang out over there by some thwarts. Uh, Overdrive was played as a resource to get out of my hand. Nothing came up that could score. And then uh, Misunderstood Orders was played as a burn to get it out of the Suicide Squad hand. So I think we just have a couple of rats left. Okay, so there was nothing really that the rats could do. So going to the end of round four and the end of the game, I was able to score a great performance because Nightwing was still on the table. And the Stubborn Resilience scored because Starfire was by three thwarts. And then uh, Teslin was able to score Interrogation Mission because KG Beast is still face-to-face -face with his marker. Um, so why don't you uh, sum up your thoughts of this game here, Teslin? Uh, oh, sorry. So the, the final score was 31 to 28 for the Titans. So what, what are your thoughts? So for final thoughts, uh, the Suicide Squad deck is really hard to use. Some of the cards are really clunky. They get stuck in your hand. And the bombs didn't really have that much effect until late game. That's good. But otherwise, it, it felt like a tough game. It was like fighting uphill compared to some of the other crews that you can run. Yeah, I'm, I mean, Titans are just so good at dealing with individual threats, right? Um, I, I don't know. I, I kind of feel the same way because I feel like my deck was also not as optimized as it could have been because like I, I was cycling a lot but at, at in the end of the day i didn't actually score that many cards i scored maybe half my deck and i think teslin's about the same he scored about half his deck yeah um so yeah it was a fun game uh always i always have a good time bringing out the titans they have such cool new abilities and stuff that they can bring so i have a good time with them did you uh, how was it on your end there teslin yeah, I feel like if I optimize the list a little bit more, I can have a little bit more fun. Yeah. Instead of trying to read your cards and try to make things, make stuff work. <laughs> yeah. Trying to put a square into a circle. Right, yeah. Yeah, so we realized there was a, a few cards that he just literally couldn't score because of his list. So um, that kind of sucked. So, yeah, it, just having a closer look at the deck, I guess. And... Uh, who you're bringing will make probably a huge difference for Suicide Squad. Um, yeah, it's cool that the, the bombs didn't really come into play. So that was good, at least. So, I, I mean, it was a close game, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So, yeah, if you guys uh, like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. And we'll be back, hopefully not in three months, with another Batman Miniature Game Battle Report. Thanks for watching.